Okay, here we've got a Banggood uh, kit of a clock. Now, this is actually the second one of these I've built. The first one was a blue one. Um, don't actually know what colour this one is. There's, there are four colours uh, in total. The, there's a blue, a green, a white, and a red. Well, I've got the blue one, so this is one of the other three. Um, so we'll probably find out at the end of the, end of the build which one it is. Now, I'm probably going to do this in a few videos because it's going to take a little while to do this and don't want to just do it all in one long video. Um, so here it goes. Well, first of all, this is the uh, plastic case for it, so we'll actually open that towards the end because I don't actually need that right now. So there's the actual LED uh, 7 segment displays. Flies everywhere. This could be the green one. I haven't actually opened the other packets to find out if that sticker actually means something. So let's have a look at this one. We'll see another case. Yep. Oh, that'll be the red one then. So that's given it away. This is actually going to be the green one. And the last one. That's all right for me This one is a white one. There we go. So that explains that. Rubbish. Okay. All right. Another bits. Okay. All right. So. Now, this one isn't surface mount or anything like that. This is quite a straightforward one to, to build. Um, the instructions are obviously translation, and uh, you know you have to read it about six times to understand it. But as this is the second one I've done, I'm pretty sure I know where I'm going with it from the beginning. But we will keep that handy. <laughs> There's the display. Tiny little board. And all the bits. Right. Uh, there's the battery. Right. Just wondering where that was. So we'll move the, the bigger bits out first because they say to put the smaller bits on first. Um, let me stick into the buzzer. So let's leave all these bits down here. Little transistors. I think that's right. Yeah, the temperature sensor on this is actually not a little Dallas DS18. It's actually, it's probably, well, that's one of those two. So there we go. We should have all the bits there. little buttons, setting the time, the alarm, all the resistors are labelled on the ends, three different values, two different values of capacitor, which are these, and the LDR which senses if it's if it's bright or not in the room, if it is, the uh, display will be bright, if it's if it's dark in the room the display dims, um, there's only two settings, it's just on or off pretty much. I mean the, the the dull when it's dull it is quite dull to be honest but you know you don't want it bright when it's when there's no light in the room. So there you go. So we'll start with the look at the instructions obviously. The two 10k they give you three. Um, you don't actually need all three. Uh, two of them will do the job. I guess they do that just in case you make a mess up with one of them, but um, I didn't on the last kit. Not that I know where the rest of the resistors went, probably in my drawers. Um, so we put one in there, one in there. I'll actually bend them over and cut them, then solder them. That's one. So we solder one. Let's keep it in place. So not 
I can cut and solder the other one. It takes a little while to do this, um, but that's what it's about. If you buy a kit, it's why you want to buy it to actually build it. So that's one. This is the second of the 10Ks. Let's get that bent properly down there. That's better. In there, bend them over, cut one off. The ends of those are actually sticky where they've come out of the uh, cardboard that keeps them together, so I keep sticking to my thumbs. Cut that one off, that one didn't stick, so that was good. Sorted. That's the two. Right, well I'll get on with doing the rest. That's two 10Ks. Every other resistor down that row is a 330 ohm, so that's these. So I'll move that other 10K out of the way, we don't need him. And there are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And lo and behold, there are nine resistors in here. So I'll give you a spare again. So we'll take them out, as we'll take them all out. Keep the spare one over there. And then start putting them on. Now, I could push them all in, bend them over, and then do all the cutting and soldering at the end, now that there's all of these the same value. I might even speed up the process. So that's two. And these will actually be just looking at the circuit. It looks like they are oh, I'll just get that one in there. That's quite that's quite straight. Seeing where they are on there. Um, well, I can't actually see them. But if that's R10, no, that's the 10K. R9. And that's those over there, which are the 4.7Ks, which are the other one, the value which is sitting there. Um, so they must be on there somewhere. They're there somewhere anyway, they must be. So that's four. This would be five. This would be six. Seven. do is I'll pause the video there, cut all those off and solder them 